G'day everyone, Simo here. Today we're going to make a rally fairing for a Gen 2 KLR650. The goal is to improve lighting for night riding, increase wind protection for my 6 foot 3 frame while still maintaining good visibility for off-road riding. It needs to look good, not great, but good will do. It's got to be cheap because I'm a bit of a tight ass and it's got to have decent durability. Okay, so here's what I'm thinking. If we increase the angle of the stock windscreen to give me a little bit more clearance on the wind flow, we'll cut it a square for a light bar. I've got an 8 inch light bar sitting around which should do the trick. And then we'll add a second screen on top of the first to help with the wind buffeting. Okay, let's get to making. Okay, so after a bit of trial and error, this is the template I came up with. I cut it out of an old washing machine, because it doesn't get much cheaper than that. You can always get a bit of sheet metal just from the local hardware store. So whenever I've been sheet metal, I like to clamp it between two bits of wood. The bottom bit's got a radius corner just to make my corner nice and rounded so it's not too sharp. I just use a soft mallet just to get a nice crisp corner. So once you're happy with the shape, take it out of the vise, flip it around, and uh, repeat the process on the other side. Okay, so after all the holes are drilled and it's all bent into shape, I did a quick test fit to make sure I was happy with it. I was happy with the visibility and the way it looks, so it's time to get it ready for painting. I'll just quickly take off the burrs with a drill bit, Give it a quick sand with the orbital sander and then any bits that are a bit too tight to get into with the electric sander, I just sand by hand. I'm just making sure to get all the burrs off all the edges so it's ready to paint. So now I'm ready to paint, I like to string my stuff up before I spray it on a bit of wire. This is a lot easier than trying to rest it on a bench and try not to flip it over and you can paint the whole thing in one go. So I string it up with a bit of wire, give the can a good shake and then I proceed to coat the entire thing. You're best off doing thin coats. Three thin coats is going to be quicker than doing one thick coat and you're going to get a better result in the end. So three thin coats And don't forget to paint any bolt heads which is going to be exposed on the end result. So I like to just drill a bit of wood, rest the bolts in and just give them a quick spray. Again, three thin coats. Now the paint's dry, it's time to fit it. So just quickly install all the bolts. Give them a bit of a tighten up so they're ready to go. Nice and rigid. So now we'll uh, attach the light bar. I've already done all the wiring for this off camera. So it was just a case of plugging it in. Bolt it up. Now I mount the extra windscreen out of some old gym mats I cut up to use the spaces. And I'm just using the old windscreen that came off the bike and just cut it to suit. All in all I'm happy with how it turned out. I've got plenty of room for my GPS for later use. Being made out of sheet metal should be durable. And with an added light bar it should add heaps of extra lighting. If you found this video useful, consider giving it a like. And if you'd like to see more of the Australian countryside, consider subscribing to the channel.